All right, ACAC, our highlight zone game of the week is going to be in Woodburn. We're talking about Adam Central versus Woodland. They have provided some of the more intriguing, interesting, jaw-dropping finishes in games over the last three, four years. I would assume this one would be very uh, much the same in line with those because the ACAC championship is on the line again. Yeah, you could say, well, a little bit of the uh, the tarnish has been taken off this because of the loss mm -hmm. by Woodland last week, but they're still in a position where if they win, they at least share for, for a conference championship. So with only one loss in conference, of course, to South Adams last week, Adam Central, of course, sitting there undefeated. Uh, the, the championship is on the line, as it has been seemingly the last 15 years in Week 9 when these two teams have played. I feel like in years past, the pressure has been on Woodland's sh shoulders sure. to make sure they win this game, finish a regular season undefeated. They're kind of the favorite. They're a 2A. Adam Central's a 1A. But I, I feel the opposite way this year in that Adam Central is the team you look at and say, boy, if they don't win this, that's got to be disappointing for them. Particularly the way that Adam Central has just been so dominant this year. We were waiting for that game where they're challenged in the second half hasn't been there. I think Michael Mosier would definitely want a game like that going into the postseason, considering the expectations that they have to make a deep postseason run. And I think for Michael Mosier's uh, team, he probably hopes that Friday is a close game where they really have to play a complete four quarters because they could definitely use it as the postseason begins. South Adams at Southern Wells. This is another interesting game because if you're South Adams, we've seen them be able to upset teams in the postseason. And, you know, some injuries have taken their toll on South Adams. They've kind of had an up and down year. But if they obviously they're going to be a favorite against Southern Wells. But how big was last week's win against Woodland to get them ready for the playoffs where they can be a dangerous team in 1A? Yeah, huge, because they go on the road, they lose to Jay, Jay County that really kind of stood out, and then to, for them to bounce back, get that win over Woodland was huge. And then you look ahead to next week where they have to go to Cherubusco and probably mm -hmm. the premier game in the area yeah. in the uh, opening week of the sectional. So uh, it's challenging for South Adams going to Busco and then probably Adams Central looming in the second round of the winner of that one. So when you thought South Adams, man, they're probably not going to have it, and they go to uh, they would beat Woodland convincingly. Uh, you feel pretty good with them on where they're at. 